We've got uh, Schneider Foreign Exchange's Stephen Gallo here with us now and uh, Professor Murad Chowdhury from the London Metropolitan University. Murad, if I could start with you. Uh, looking at what's happening with the euro right now, it does seem to have uh, found uh, a little bit of, uh, of traction. Um, the reasons for this? Markets being volatile as they are, mm. there's always some upside rebound when you get some worry story, you know, and that's what's happened. I would say it's trading in its current ranges. It got supported at that 121 level against the dollar. It's rebounded back. I think the market is working up to the fact that the structural problems of the euro, its governance problems, if you like, are quite deep and need a lot of adjustment. And so we will continue to see this pressure, downward pressure on the euro for the rest of this year. And you agree with that, Stephen? I mean, I, I agree. You know, the, 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 the trend is clear in the euro dollar now. What I would say is I think one of the main things that is supporting the euro is just you have a number of corporations, large corporations in the eurozone. They're buying their euros forward six months, three months, three months, six months, maybe even one year. So, you know, it's adding some support. But I think it is probably a matter of time before there's another excuse to push it lower. There could be a number of fundamental drivers. We could get more indications that central banks are moving away from the euro. We could come to a, a Greek restructuring. Mm -hmm. And a Greek restructuring is going to take a lot of political effort which we know the Europeans are particularly bad at yeah. coming together for political reasons so yes I do believe it probably will trough at lower levels versus the dollar how significant did you think it was that China was talking about not selling uh, the treasuries in, in Europe I think they had to make a statement because they don't want to be seen to be sort of acting hastily or being mm. bounced into your movement we have to remember with sovereign wealth funds they take long-term as well as medium and short-term decisions and Obviously, they will be rebalancing their portfolios as a matter of course, irrespective of market conditions at all times. They hold the bulk, the vast bulk of their foreign exchange reserves in dollar assets. Obviously, while the dollar has been seen as weak, then they want to rebalance some of it. And of course, looking forward 10 or 20 years, there's the whole issue of whether the dollar should be retained as a reserve currency. Mm -hmm. So during this process, they will rebalance out of euro assets. But I think they, did, they made that statement because they didn't want to be seen as reacting in any sort of negative or positive way. They're just saying, look, we manage our portfolios at some point during all points we will have X percent invested in euro assets mm. and that will change it's not you know I think long term it probably would do them good to rebalance into more euro assets but they're not going to be doing that while they see the current troubles in the eurozone well indeed while, while the current troubles are here we don't even know if there will be a euro for sure um, surely that there, there isn't much point in, in looking at a very long term is there? I, I think structurally you know foreign official institutions myself uh, mm. you know I think th th there really isn't any concern that the euro won't survive mm. I think it's almost to a degree unthinkable the question is how long will it take Europe to get through all of these issues to restructure Greece's debt to restructure their, the, the economies of the periphery of the eurozone it will take a very long time and I think in the process there will be credibility issues there will be weak growth issues that will weigh on the euro but the one thing that you can be I think positive about from a structural standpoint is that the eurozone is further ahead in addressing its problems mm. than a number of other key we, we, we heard, we've heard no call from Washington to cut the deficit Indeed. in the United States. In the United Kingdom, only slim adjustments are being made for 2010 uh, on the part of the uh, the Cameron government and, and the coalition government. So, well, let's let's. I mean, just just before we, do, we I'd like to talk to you about uh, about sterling. But before that, are we looking at euro parity with the dollar? I don't think it's justifiable. Catastrophically, if Europe makes more mistakes, we could get there, mm -hmm. uh, and then they will probably have to intervene. Uh, but it's not justifiable. 130 to 135 is our idea of fair value for euro dollar based on the dollar own flaws okay if we address the whole philosophical issue of the euro mm -hmm. then it goes beyond technical and supply and demand and market size factors if the eurozone doesn't address its structural well the fact the factors that make it structurally unsustainable mm. then it will be hitting dollar parity I would suggest that if things stay as they are now we've had this three-year bailout plan but if there's no changes to the actual structure of, of the economies of the southern eurozone they carry on with the welfare budget mm. they they carry on with without yeah. addressing the aging population they carry on without addressing right. their fundamentally low competitiveness and productivity then the euro will not only hit parity with the dollar next year it will actually trade through it so it's actually the ball is in their court the, the eurozone governments have to realize that they've been given some breathing space here because of this bailout plan announcement and then they have to make the changes to their economies make them more competitive make the supply side reforms in the labor market that Europe, will help them if they Europe, don't then they're in the Europe, trouble Europe will emerge stronger from this not weaker okay. over the okay. longer run we're at Stephen thank you very much indeed thank you